Hello everyone, my name is Webweaver and welcome back to another episode of World of Horror. Um, we're on the American color palette. It's American as apple pie. And uh, we have a new old god. We have a new old god. Uh, I, in the last episode I was like, hey, we should get a new old god. And I was correct. We did get a new old god. I mean, I wasn't even correct. It was just like, yeah, I wanted to get a new old god. Well, we'll do Miku scars because we do need to win on Miku and we do need to win on scars. What the fuck is this thing? The nuclear bomb? <laughs> Zektast, the horror from the stars. That describes um, also this one as well. A big meteorite fell down on a field in a village near Shiakawa. A farmer who found it contacted researchers from Tokyo, but when they arrived, all they found was a wet puddle of pinkish goo. Perfect form. Every 21% doom, characters receive minus one to all stats. Um... Okay, so I did end up picking the exact fucking counter. Um, it's kind of, not really, because our stats are basically going to remain the same for the entire fucking game. And Miku has really, really bad stats. So, you know, it's a little bit weird. It's a little bit weird. Uh, but we did, we did pick the counter accidentally. Second enemy, light source, strength. Second mystery, dexterity. You know, you just do a little everything and strength and dexterity and then everything else. So no knowledge, no charisma. Uh, we can make that work, kind of. I mean, I'm a little bit nervous, admittedly, after I saw the me and pink goo rutsu. Uh, honestly, this might be a devastatingly good old god. Like, really powerful. I I can't really imagine trying to play around this outside of like uh, anything. I the the fact that we don't have the fucking uh what you call it the monument is just like it's in remiss. Like every character in this game, you know, they get more powerful as the run goes on. This is like you never th this is like you never fucking level up. This is like hey. You thought Jury was hard, dickhead. Imagine playing Jury on... This is not entirely true because perks are really strong. But it's like, imagine stat-wise if you were playing Jury. Like, that that's what you're dealing with here. That's thats what you're looking into here. And it's pretty... It's pretty bad. Like, I'm sorry to say, but that shit's pretty hard. Um, I mean, just looking at it right off the bat, like, I don't... Oh, no way in hell, man. No fucking way. There's no way you do this. Please tell me we got school scissors here. Oh, thank God. Please tell me it's timeline B. What the fuck are these mysteries? What? What, what do you want me to do? What, what, what do you want me to do? Die? Fucking die? Like, what What do you want me to actually do? Like, what? Like what is the counterplay here? Die? Death. Misery. Pain? and suffer. It's gotta be school scissors. It's gotta be school scissors, man. It's gotta be school scissors. And it's gotta be, it's gotta be timeline B. It's gotta be timeline B or we lose. Oh, thank God. Okay, I'm actually writing this down for when we get to Recluse. We're going into Recluse next. I want you to know how fucking horrible this, this run is. Actually, we probably go to Fear Festival just because we can get allies and allies potentially do things. Iwa would make this run so much more consistent. I, I don't even know what to say. Like, this is like power word, I'm dead. Like, wh wh what, do you, what do you want from me? I don't have a good answer to anything that I could potentially give you at all. Um, I would love to get plus one knowledge here. That's going to be so helpful. I'm not even joking. Um, I also, on this old god, some characters are literally just at risk of dying because of how low stats are. That's actually crazy. So here's the thing. We know that this is a clap clap, but we don't know the rest of the combination. So I'm gonna fuck off. Uh, th this is gonna be one of probably the most, th this is a difficult run. This is a really difficult run. I'm not joking. I'm not exaggerating. There, There's no exaggeration or anything here. Like th this pink goo old God, first of all, uh, Josephine's gonna have a fucking field day with that one. But, like, this also doesn't matter. I'm just doing this for fun. L literally no effect on the mystery because we're on timeline B. But, uh, the perfect form B, when you cut yourself... Huh? What? 
what is this? It's the best old god of all time? What do you mean? What do you mean it's the best old god of all fucking time? What is this? That's incredible. I, I take back everything I said. This is the this is the best old god in the game. Plus three strength? You give me plus three strength on the day of my daughter's wedding, I want to marry you. Like, I'm, I'm calling off my daughter's wedding. You and me are getting married on the spot if you give me plus three strength. Minus one sanity for plus three strength? Oh my god. Also, you better believe. You better believe I'm getting re the sticky note ready. If the game is going to get this fucking hardcore, you better fucking believe I'm getting the sticky note ready. Clap, clap. Because this shit is too hard. Alright. Okay. Clap. 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 Bow. Bow. Okay. Three claps, two bows. Pretty easy to remember, but I'm writing it down anyways, because fuck you. <laughs> this game just, like, escalated. Like, warfare, war has changed. The, the violence has been escalated. I don't even know how to, how to put it other than that. I think, honestly, residential recluse is probably the way to go. Because I don't think we fight anything here, because it wouldn't make sense. Yeah, I think this is, like, pretty free? Like, getting the combination, I think, just works. Like, I don't think we're gonna fight anybody here. Nothing to get here, nothing to get here. We've already looked through the peephole. We're wasting another day. Apartment Stalker is really concerned for ourselves. We're, we're going to throw it away. Then we're going to check behind the desk. I guess it's random if we get the toy or not, or you have to check behind the bed always. I'm not entirely sure. We can't get that. There's nothing to do here anymore. We just need to read the note. We just need to read the note. Uh, we, I, I mean, you gotta, you, you gotta give it to him. Look beneath the shelves, check the note, and then we just kind of schmooze. Um, plus one reason. Okay, so you're choosing where, what damage you're taking. Approach the wall, prepare for combat. We do a little clap, 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 bow, bow. We're gonna take two sanity damage as like a little treat, but... I think you've got, like, not having the, the ghost combination for this mystery uh, sounds fucking horrible. Like, awful. Like, really, really bad. Uh, Doomed already is gonna go undeniably hard, and honestly, with the fucking stat increases that we're getting from Homeboy Pink Goo, I don't really know what to tell you other than we're taking stamina because I want to heal. But oh, I guess we're going into Fear Festival, so I guess that's kind of silly. I want to do Flood last! I want to do Flood last because Flood is so fucking hard and we have a wooden bat. Like, I don't I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I, I don't know what to say. We got a, like, ball. All right, so we're getting minus one to every stat. That really sucks. You take a step towards the perfect form, all stats. Me and all stats, Rutsu. It's really weird because it's like our stats kind of stay the same because of how mayhem works. Absolutely get in my fucking party right now. Uh, we need a weapon that's not bad that that might sound a little bit weird it might sound a little bit like oh you're asking for too much am i are we really letting kazumi in here are we really letting in kazumi into the squad i don't think we're letting kazumi into the squad i'll be real with you i don't have paranoia uh reiko i don't know is it reiko or reiko i don't know um me mispronouncing names uh, is, like, the most iconic thing in this series. So, excuse me. I did not want my we Amazon web page to open up when I clicked Firefox. That's not what I wanted at all. I closed that window 80 years ago. Uh, we're, we are going to look her up on the wiki, though, because I don't remember what she does. And if she's good, we're going to take her. Um, completing a mystery grants one fund. Absolutely not. Get the Get the hell out of my squad. How could you even, like, how, how could you even insinuate that you would join my squad 
if, if that's what you provide to the to the gang, we'll take the 5% doom. Which is getting us closer to uh, getting annihilated, by the way. We can... We need to level up Perception and Charisma ASAP because we will fucking die. We, we will fucking die. Ryuchi, you are doom reduction, aren't you? Pay two funds. Okay. We may or may not be needing Ryuchi Rutsu, all right? Like, we're, we're gonna need homeboy. Also, I love the difference between Ryuchi and Iwa is one of them is smoking and the other isn't. Smonking, sorry, sorry. Another classic banger. A giant plushie, huh? What, what do you want me to do with this combat, by the way? Like, it's the worst combat of all time. Like, we're using the wooden bat. Like, what do you, what do you want me to say? Like, we could either do four damage or, like, oh my god. It's so bad. Like, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? We're gonna run away. We're gonna run away. Oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, we have to run away. That's a horrible enemy to fight. Also, was the ghost girl our second enemy? I have no idea. Because I feel like we fought once when we, like, did the ghost girl. Yeah, we fought, like, Maru, right? And then it was the scissor leaning tower of scissors. Please, no. Please get me out of this fucking mystery. I don't need more doom. I mean, plus two, plus two would be great if it didn't instantly fucking kill us. So thank you for not... Thank, thank you for not making me endure that. Give me sanity. Give me adrenaline. It's our only chance in this horrible fucking world. We have a wooden bat. Might I remind you we have a wooden bat? Uh, what weapon can we get in Frightening Flood? We could maybe get a steak knife in the school. What weapon can we get in Medusa Metamorphosis? I don't know, but you had me at Medusa. There's only one ending here, by the way. Everyone is talking about this. Weird giant jellyfish ambushing swimmers. Even the local biology teacher can't identify the species as more people end up hurt badly. You remember from reading an article that a famous marine biologist is spending his vacation in the city. Maybe you could seek help from him. This, this guy's an incredibly famous marine biologist. I mean, I'm not judging by the looks, but I mean, he does, like, instead of staring into the jellyfish's soul, he's staring into my soul. So it's more like I, I, he, he's looking at me, man. At the seaside mansion, you need to take the. Oh my God, we're in the town! Holy shit, we're in the town! We have a chance. Okay, we're we're potentially fucking gaming here. We've never been so fucking back before. Branded, whatever. I don't give a shit. Blood frenzy. That's cool. Uh, hardware shop. Uh, give me something. Give me a something fucking viable. Thank God for that. Okay. Sin... Sindaria study. Here's the thing. There's only one ending here. So unless you don't do the side quest, the game just fucking kills you. Like, I don't know what to say. We might as well do this anyways. What do I want to do here? Like, I'm so... Like, this shit's so scary. Okay, okay, okay. We have we have a chance here. We, we have a chance to feel pretty good about ourselves. We're just, we're just ballin', we're having a good time, we're hanging out. We're gonna go do the side quest because EXP is nice. Do we try to get plus stats from the, whatchamacallit? I don't know. Some scientists say certain Medusas don't age, constantly growing in size. This might, like, what if this locked us into the seaside? That would be one of the most wacky fucking events in the game, honestly. I almost want to rest. Because I feel like we're kind of in the shit, but never mind. I'm so glad we didn't rest. Uh, that's weird. You shouldn't be able to see the lighthouse from this side of the bay. You take one step closer to the perfect form. I want to see what the perfect form is. I'll be real with you. Let's get Jar of Blood up in here. Some of the mansions are abandoned, and the roads leading to them are overgrown. You have to somehow find the bi biologist's vacation home. I mean, we're going to switch this over here, and we're just going to start chilling. I mean, he's in the seaside uh, mansion, but that means we got to fight our way to the fucking front. You finally enter the right place inside. There are many jars with various jellyfish species, but where is the biologist himself? Listen, I was promised a Medusa. I didn't think it meant, like, fucking jellyfish Medusa. I feel so sad. I feel so betrayed, honestly. Inside a dusty study, you find a map of the cliffside with one point clearly marked. Is this where the biologist is performing his studies? He's on vacation! Leave the man alone! You enter a room full of wooden statues. You're amazed by how realistic some of them look. So realistic, in fact, that you could have sworn one blinked. Oh, this is a pillar vampire. Okay. I was so confused for like five seconds. I was like, what is blood cooking? Unique encounter? New enemy? But no, it's actually just homeboy. 
we do 90, 97, 97, we can do more than that. We can guarantee it? 107%, 107% Rutsu. Standing on the beach, you realize something. The map's coastline doesn't match the actual thing. Why is that? Why is it that way? I don't know why it's that way. Oh, fuck it, I'm just going to assume this is the end of the event, because I want to leave the forest uh, relatively safe. Uh, fuck me. Uh, yeah, okay. The tides, the rise and the fall of the sea level changes the coastline. You should wait. The low tide reveals a semi-sunken cave, which corresponds to the map point on the marker. The low tide reveals a semi-sunken cave. This is the place where the biologists are running their experiment. Whatever you decide to do, you should hurry. When the high tide comes, the whole cave will potentially be submerged underwater. Enter the cave. That was fucking cool. Um, it screams and lunges at you. Is this another boss fight? Is this another boss fight we can't run from? What the fuck? Holy shit. Hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. Homie has 30... Hold on. Do we have Blood Moon? No, we don't. Homie... No fucking way homie would have 50 power on... Oh my god. What do you want me to do? Just fucking die? Like, holy shit. Now, admittedly, he, he would be doing three normally. We do have uh, Blood Frenzy. But still, that shit's fucking crazy. H. Uh, yeah, that'll do enough. That'll, that'll do enough to kill, so we can just do this. That's fucking nuts, by the way. Like, unironically, that's fucking crazy. It's only after the meat horror falls down to the ground dead that you notice a bag further down the cave. Inside, you find a bunch of neatly folded clothes and a journal. It belongs to the marine biologist. The last entry dates back to when the jellyfish attack started. The ancient tablet I found when exploring the caves near Shirakawa has, for the lack of the better word, cursed me. I can't explain this, but every other night, my skin slips off my body as if it has a mind of its own. It always returns to me in the morning. I just have to wait in the cave where the tablet was. What is happening to me? What will happen to the giant skin jellyfish without its host's body? You have no idea. And hopefully you will never learn the answer. The skin jellyfish, it's still out there. I love that. I, I want to see more skin. I want a skin jellyfish plushie ASAP. Okay. So... We're just kind of fucking chillin', like a villain. I'm gonna put a point into art knowledge here, because we're going to the school. And then I'm gonna put a point into stamina, so that hopefully we don't die to the first fucking enemy in the first fucking event. Now we do, we do get a little bit, uh, nice healing with that. We didn't get, uh, we didn't get the oily water. We're completely okay. Power word kill, 90% chance. I mean, I mean. We've been doing a lot of power word kills recently. I have a friend who says power word kill every time we play Fortnite. It's rubbing off on me. It's a fun word to say. It's a fun word to say. So, I heard the, the mysteries were all really nasty. Uh, I feel like that's true. All of them are incredibly horrible. Um... Do I want to go to the school and get plus one damage? I kind of do. I kind of do. We have the doom for it. Plus three perception, minus two sanity. That's something that just happened. Can I get the linguist, please? Can I get the linguist, please? I don't want to go up to. I don't want to go up to eighty percent doom. I don't want to go up to eighty percent doom for the linguist. Um, we can do twenty-four theoretically, but I would rather just beat the crap out of her. I would rather just beat the crap out of every single one. And then we, we give her a chance. We give her a chance, yeah. Okay, we got the linguist. It's time to fully heal. Because we are taking sanity damage. And shit kind of sucks. Occult diary is pretty cool. I want to see the, the ending screen for this old god. Like, a after we after this run, I don't think we're going to doom out. So whatever happens to this run afterwards... I definitely want to see what ends up happening. So we can guarantee this, right? No, we can't, but like... Four fucking damage? 
Ah, I see power levels still don't work correctly in, in multi-battles. That's great. That's awesome. I'm a big fan of that. Um, okay, so we're going to block so that we only take two damage because you don't get hit the first time. And then we're just going to take... Uh, honestly, you probably want to try to kill them, even with a little bit of a chance happening here. Uh, this doesn't even kill. This just sets them up for, like, this, this doesn't even kill. Why, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Okay, here's, here's, what, here's what we need to do. Here's what we need to do. We need to kill you in one round of combat. And then we go down to six, and then we go down to four, then we go down to two. Alternatively, um, we, we don't kill you in one round of combat, and we take two. And then we kill you, and then we take... We go down to eight, and then we take four. It doesn't really matter. We get there in the end anyways. And this doesn't matter either. So, you know, we're, we're not quite there as far as damage goes. Honestly. No, you want to kill them before they... Honestly, though, if they're just doing the one reason now, which I don't even know if I believe, but if they do one reason now, then maybe theoretically you just take the... The three damage per turn and then you try to wither that down but like i don't know it's just easier to fucking kill it like we, we should kill him in one round of combat for sure that, that's what we should do we should kill him in one round of combat we should we should absolutely do that so you're you're done and or dusted we take four damage that's pretty brutal you've got to admit that's pretty brutal you gotta hand it to him you gotta hand it to him they made a pretty fucking brutal fight And then uh, we're going to use Desperation to hopefully kill it. Uh, yes, we're going to use Desperation to kill it. So just do that, because it's guaranteed. And then you just do this, because it's guaranteed. And then you feel happy about that. Plus three sanity, contaminated water, so we don't get to rest. Hold on, let me check my lighthouse just to make sure. So we're taking potentially minus six stamina, but we're not taking... Well, we have a light source. Uh, we actually have a light source check, so I do need to heal the sanity. I do need to soothe the soul, as it were. Okay, so I don't know how to feel about this old god, because I was going to say that this is one of the most devilish, devastating old gods in the game, and then it gave me plus three strength at the beginning of the run, and I won uh, easily. And also, Medusa doesn't lock you out. Shoutouts to Medusa for not locking you out of the town. It's absolutely fucking phenomenal. Uh, really came in clutch. Okay, so second enemy, I don't care. Light source minus three sanity. Uh, Takashi's gonna die. Strength, whatever, we're good. Second mystery, whatever, I don't care. And then dexterity if we have Heart of Darkness, which we don't. So we could only take minus three, minus three, so we're not gonna die. I don't have any weird thing that's gonna get me killed. I am a little bit, like... If this was more sketchy, I would worry about, like, Branded or anything, but, like... Yeah, I think it was Roommate. Yeah, it was Roommate. We Roommate was our second enemy. Roommate's fucking brutal, by the way. We've gotten lucky. I don't care what anybody says. That fucking thing is hard. And I'm I'm not even, like... I, I'm, I'm, I'm not even joking. I think that's probably... Like, that might genuinely be the hardest mystery in the game. Like, I'm not even joking at this point. Like, I genuinely think it might be one of the hardest mysteries in the game. Like, I almost don't want to do it unless I have Timeline B School Scissors, or at least School Scissors to try to, like, figure it out, because that's such a brutal fight. Like, here's the thing. The Residential Recluse makes knowledge so much of a better stat. Miku, I don't know how you're going to dispose of this. I don't know if it's safe to hit a radioactive container with a monkey wrench, knocking it over, spilling radioactive material all over the fucking lighthouse. I don't think that's safe. I don't think that's safe at all. Apparently we unlocked three new achievements. I have no idea what they might be. Uh, we'll go ahead and check out to see if the old god gives us anything for, for beating it. Win your sixth playthrough, flooded nails, own both baseball bats. Defeat the Kanunko Gatherer without any weapons, intrusive thoughts, insatiable lust, do something. Complete a playthrough with Yumiko. Oh, I don't know who Yumiko is. Fatalism, exquisite taste, eldritch parasite, curious birthmark. We got, we unlocked curious birthmark by beating it on scars. And 
then at that point, what do you want to do? I'm not entirely sure what you want to... I guess we need to do Yashiro Reign of Spiders when we unlock Yashiro. And then we need to do the challenges. I really want to get the fucking monument before we start doing the challenge runs. Beat, beat an outer entity, we need the monument in order to do that. Um, a lot of this is just... A lot of this is literally just, like, doing the challenge runs... And then also, like, completing the game with the third character. Have we not won as Haru yet? That feels disrespectful. Have your ally... Oh god, I've got to have our ally die in a fucking combat encounter. Oh, we did the exorcism achievement, didn't we? Um, because of the, uh, whatchamacallit. And we got pancakes. Cool, cool, cool. 62%, by the way. That's pretty neat. Alright, I'm gonna go... We're gonna go see how this old god fucking kills you. And then we're gonna end the video, because I want to see how the old god kills you. I want to see the ending screen so badly. Uh, who gets to die? Haru gets to die. Real and true. I want to see this. Uh, go ahead and just give me the dog store. That's fine. And then just get me in a mystery chief. Preferably one that gets me in the town so we can actually do this. Um... We can just re-roll 80 million times. I think we've already gotten this dog ending. 3%. And then just go to the hardware store, I guess. Flesh, gore, skin, strands of hair, bones, insects, sweat, and soil. All in... Oh, God. Macabre unity? <laughs> Melded as one. Perfect form. A flawless vessel to nurture an infant god. Real and true. Where is the dog? What the dog doing? Stay safe out there. Have a good one. Bye.